Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. We all know George Floyd, right? The police brutality. We all know Philando Castile. We talking about a man who was legally able to carry a firearm. But he was shot unarmed in his car with his girlfriend and daughter. And the, the cop that did it, he was acquitted. We are broken hearted people because we never see no justice. We could do all the right things. We could keep the laws of the land. But yeah, we still get the short end of the, of the stick. And that's why we are broken hearted people. And this gospel is for you. It's for our people. Because we the ones that need it. The church ain't giving it to us. How can we change our community? How we change our community? Okay, I got you. I'm, all right, I'm gonna I'm, I'm deal with that. I'm, I'm asking, what's your name, bro? Who? LV, okay. Let's get that, Luke. Read that. This is the book of Luke, chapter 4, verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. So, is it fair to say that our people are poor in our communities or are we bought it? Are our people poor or are we wealthy in our communities? Hey, bro. Look around. Hey, sis, get a flight. Yeah. You can't even answer that. So this gospel is for our people here because we need this. We out here living from check to check. We living on food stamps. Can't find a job. Last hire, first fire. This gospel is for us. Read on. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted. Our people are brokenhearted every day. Why? Because we, we all know someone who got killed by gun violence, right? Don't you know someone that got killed by gun violence? And the pain that his mother or her mother went through, the pain that you went through, you have to ask yourself, every year we acknowledge that the crime in Chicago is at an all-time high, but yeah, every year we have murder after murder after murder. It's an average in Chicago on the weekends it's gonna be 12 murders from Friday through Sunday. But we recognize these issues, but yet every weekend is the same thing. We are broken-hearted people. Read on. To preach deliverance to the captives. To do what? To preach deliverance to the captives. So the gospel is to preach deliverance to the captives. We are the captives. You see these signs right here, brother? Come close, look at these signs. You see this? Can I, well, if I will tell you that this that happens to our people is in the Bible. Now, us going to slavery, I can show you that in the scriptures. And not only I can show you that, I can show you why we went into slavery. Have you ever wondered why we went into slavery? Why people was forced to pick cotton, sugar? How we were, our women was getting raped? Right. How our children was getting taken away from us in slavery? Right. You ever wondered these things? So last time I checked, we are broken hearted people because we have never recovered from this thing. Right. After 1863, they say lace yourself up by your own bootstraps. Right. And then when we do try to build our communities, what happened? Who ever heard of Tulsa, Oklahoma? Black Wall Street. Who heard of Rosewood? These are predominantly black communities that was thriving. And what happened? When we were thriving, the white man came and killed us. You know they dropped bombs on Wall Street in Oklahoma? They dropped bombs on Tulsa, Oklahoma. In Rosewood in Florida, one white woman said she was accused of rape. And then what they killed, they, they tore up the whole town where they killed everybody. Only because a white woman said a black man raped her and it kind of turned out to be a lie. This is why we broken hearted because we never see justice. Even with the police brutality. Right. We all know George Floyd, right? The police brutality. We all know Philando Castile. We talking about a man who was legally able to carry a firearm. But he was shot unarmed in his car with his girlfriend and daughter. And the, the cop that did it, he was acquitted. We are broken hearted people because we never see no justice. We could do all the right things. We could keep the laws of the land. But yeah, we still get the short end of the, of the stick. And that's why we are broken hearted people. And this gospel is for you. 
It's for our people. Right. Because we're the ones that need it. The church ain't giving it to us. That's right. The church is that out here teaching, trying to restore the broken heart. Bring it up. He's not trying to deliver the captives. Because believe it or not, we still captive in this land. That's right. right. Because we came over here off the shores of West Africa. But yeah, we're supposed to be free while we're still here. You gotta ask yourself these things. Let's ask yourself pure logical questions. If I'm free, why are we still here in America? Think about it. If you do a bid in prison, right? And the warrant tells you you're free, are you gonna continue to sit in the jail cell? Are you? So are we really free? No, we're not. Because we're still in the land of our captivity. Is it more than that? Read on. Verse 18. And recovering of the excuse me. Recovering of sight to the blind. To do what? And recovering of sight to the blind. Hold that. Get Proverbs 29 18. So the purpose of this Bible is to recover sight. Let me ask you this. What's your nationality? What's your nationality? Huh? Black America? Okay. Here's the irony in that. How can you be black and an American? Bring it out. The black is the cut of your shirts. Hey, what's going on, bro? How can you associate your race with the cut of your shirt? Right. Because when I ask you your nationality, the root word is nation. Another word for nation is country. So is there a country called black on the globe? No. And how can you be an American? Hey, bro. Because before 1619, who were we called? Who were we before 1619? Freak it out. African. So how do we become Americans? So there is a disconnect. And this, the purpose of this Bible is to give sight. Sight is something that you can see. Come back to reality. The Bible is the only thing that can bring our people back to reality. Let me show you this statement, this profound statement right here. Read that, Proverbs 20, 19. Is that what I want? Yes, this, is the pro this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 29 and verse 18. Where there is no vision. When there is what? Where there is no vision. So where there is no vision. When there is no vision. Read on. The people perish. The people what? The people perish. So when there's no vision among our people, the people perish. That's right. Because think about it. What's the, we call ourselves black African Americans. Y'all call yourself the same things, but yet, you can have two black men, they can have beef with each other. Because the vision is not there. Right. That's the wrong vision. That's the wrong vision. We're not black. You can't go to a land of black. You're not American because who were you before 1619? Come back, sister. Where's she going? We're not black. We're not African Americans, by the way. And when there's no vision, our people perish. Read on. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. But listen up. But he that keep God's laws, happy is he. Because we lack God's laws. So we have to come back to having a sense of vision. Now you say you was black American. You're not black. You're not American. According to God's word, you are Israelites. That's right. If you stick around long, I'm going to show you how, be how you became black and American. But we have to have vision. Because the vision of being a black American only goes so far as the 1619. Right. Have you ever asked yourself who were you before slavery? See, because there's no vision there. Our people just stop at a certain race, uh, capital in our lives. That's to say that, how can I know, how can I go anywhere if I never know where I've been? How can I go anywhere if I never know where I've been? How can I go anywhere if I never knew where I've been? That's why we got to come back to the vision. We have to come back to the hindsight. We have to wake up. We have to wake up. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. 